Hey everyone, Big Mac here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. We are still back here in the Midas Fall, so I actually went back and I remembered being able to find a, a particular frog coin that I could have found could have found earlier. Um, if I actually went into one of those grotto holes things. Anyway, so we got a couple more uh, frog coins in that route. Uh, let us now head back to Tadpole Pond, where we are. This is Mallow's home. We're gonna have to do some exposition. It's story time, people. Uh, hello, tadpole. Anyone around? Eh, fine. Let's push the button. Ring for service. Hi, can I help you? Oh, Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Bloom, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. He's like the New York Times. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here. Wah, wah. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look like anything I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's a rumor. Well, let's show him off. Jump! I don't know how they're clapping. Their arms are too small. Well, Grasshopper, what is new? I, can't, I need to think of old man voice. Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I, I know, child, that rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ah, oh, telephone. So, ouch! Watch it up there, you're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? What? Floating? Whoa. Fog Fuchsius is flying. Man, that's that's got to be some... Wait... I see somebody up there. Welcome! So you are Mario, yes? I am Frog Fuchsius. You have come to seek wisdom, have you not? Waiting for you, I have been. Yes, old wise people give it good advice often can. That didn't work out. Anyway, oh, it's a lucky two that's holding him up. <laughs> Don't be, but, but uh, the how rude of me. Let's, let's get more comfortable. Come along, we'll walk. Clear, full, reverse. My old man voice is not very good. Tadpoles, don't just float them. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. We can jump. We can't jump that far. So that being said, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Fogpucius. Figure out what's going on in here. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared in Bowser's Keep... He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if you only knew the truth, Toadstool is no longer there! Wait. What? <laughs> Patience, young one! Let me explain, here is what happened. You were rescuing Toadstool. After defeating him, after defeating Bowser, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. I still got my froggy legs too. Whoosh! Out of the blue, the shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toaster were still lost, somewhere out there, now. <sighs> You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world! Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was just one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars grant wishes, and more than ever, they will play, they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much? Do you, do you need a recap? No, I do need a break though from... That is like building pressure on my head for some reason. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess... Mac was only the first of the many Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem... nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure too. <gasps> Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now, but... You're... 
You're not a tadpole. Say what? <laughs> oh, 90s phrases. Hooray. I was sitting here one rainy day enjoying a snack of crickets. When I happened to see a basket floating down the falls, I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him into rays as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from, from, some, oh, from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not? <sighs> A tadpole? <laughs> ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario and his adventure. Find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Mario. The, the, the boy's magic is sure to come in handy on an adventure. You'll, you'll take him along. Yes? You bet. Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rosetown where they need your help. Oh. Well, Mal might not be crying, but I think Frog Fuchsius could definitely use some cheering up. There, there, Mr. Frog Fuchsius. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> It, it will be quiet with Mellow gone. Maybe a snack would cheer me up. Well, isn't that why Mellow went to town in the first place? <gasps> That's right! I had forgotten all about it! I will give you something for the crooked pie you brought back! I know! You shall have the staff I used when I was Mellow's age! The froggy stick will come in handy, do not forget to equip it! And indeed, just like that, we have Mallow's first equipable weapon. Yay, the Froggy Stick ups his attacks by a considerable amount, and he, not only did he use it, but he made it apparently too. Wow. Although I don't think you can give it back to him later on. So that is our that is our dis discourse with. <gasps> What's with the yawning? Seriously. Anyway, so now that we've talked to Frog Fuchsia, now all the other ones will talk to us as well. So we can buy a few things out here uh, while we are in Tadpole Pond. They have some different uh, items. Um, you can think of them as like power-up items um, so far. But uh, anyway, there's this juice bar. And it's asking about our membership. No, we don't have any membership. But they do have froggy drinks. Which is kind of like a mushroom for everybody at once. And it definitely uh, saves on space as well. But that being said, you know, it's not that great. However, over here... I've got this dream of becoming a composer, so I want to be as famous as Tchaikovsky. My favorite song? Um, it's the, it's Frog Fuchsius' Suite Number 18. So la mi re do re do re. Tchaikovsky is fan of it too. So, did everybody remember that? So la mi re do re do re. Anyway, welcome to Melody Bay. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. So, that being said, Notice here that uh, our tadpoles kind of look like music notes, and that these little uh, channels kind of look like the lines on a piece of sheet music. So if I've got this correct, again, I'm not a music person. I played clarinet back in middle school. I think this is Do, or, well, if I could jump correctly, that would help. Do, Re, Mi. And then Fa, uh, Fa's at the far end. Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. I think that's your standard chromatic scale. Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Uh, I, I obviously, like, you have to go down an octave or something, but that's just... I uh, was going on. Is that something you composed? No. No. It's not the right melody. Fine. So the, no, notice that we actually have one uh, particular a tadpole that stayed afloat. Well, that's because if, you know, we, we followed that particular melody that uh, the other tadpole had mentioned, 
me, I mentioned me was the third note, so that's kind of an indication of, oh, that's the correct note you're supposed to be on. So, I can never do this very well. So if it was so la mi, so if it's do re mi fa so, okay, so on that line there, okay. So, do re mi fa so la, so la, okay. Not zo loft. Definitely not zo loft. Mi, and then re, do, re, do, re. Let's see if I made this song correctly. My audio cut out a little bit there, but I think it worked fine. That is it! That is the melody I have been looking for! Thank you for the inspiration! Please take your alto card as my token of appreciation and gratitude! If I ever need help with my compositions, I will look for you here until then unto you! Oh! Yeah. So, we helped the great composer Todovsky um, copy off somebody else. Plagiarism! Hooray! No. So actually with that alto card, we can actually use that to uh, buy a new uh, item at the juice bar that was over here. So over the course of the game, I think we'll get a couple uh, different items, or we'll be able to find new songs and kind of come back here and then teach him to turn to, to off key and he'll give us new stuff. So anyway, we can use those items as we see fit. However, I think for now, uh, let's go do what Grandpa said. We have to head to Rose Town, but in order to do, to do that first, ow, microphone. In order to do that first, we're going to have to go through the Rose Way. So the Rose Way is just a uh, series of platforming skills that we have here. So notice here that we're on these blocks and I don't need that yet. But fortunately, the idea is that we can just uh, keep jump, use these as our transportation as we go around here. So hopefully everything will... Hey, there's a flower. Yay, thank you, flower. So that being said, there's a lot of... Uh, let's see here, do I want to... Wow. I guess I can go that way as well. I feel like I, need to, I should be able to get to that thing, but anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and see what's over here. Ooh, ooh, I see there's a box up here that I want. I want the box. Um, it looks like the easiest way to me for me to get up there is to uh, attack all these shy guys that are here. So we have two new weapons. We have Mario's Knock Knock Shell and Mallow's Froggy Stick. So the way to uh, cue Mario's Knock Knock Shell is that as soon as it's about to hit his foot, that's when you uh, time it for the, or you know, time it for the timed hit, so that way it actually has more oomph. And for Mallow, the second like he's finished completing his first, I totally thought I had killed the one on this platform. Apparently not. Okay, now that was a surprise to me, that's for sure. Anyway, so now Mallow's got a, you know, an, a weapon, and that's definitely going to help us out a lot as we start making our way through uh, this particular part of the game. That way it's not just Mario who can do the physical attacks. Obviously Mallow is not quite as strong as Mario, but hey, it's definitely going to help uh, in a pinch. Okay, so now I need to... Aw, oh, this might take a couple tries. This might take a few hundred tries. This might take a bajillion tries. This might take forever. Because what happened, I have now gotten them completely out of sync. That is hilarious. I have gotten them now completely out of sync. So maybe if I can, like, re-sync them up enough... Aha! There we go! Frog coin! So again, uh, there were some things that we could buy there at the uh, house. But, nah, or back at Tadpole Pond. But nothing too super special. Anyway, we've got these crook guys. They are crooks, they are thieves, and they are scaredy pants most of the time. <laughs> so, in fact, they will often run away. So, kill, so being able to kill them is kind of a big deal. So, as you notice there, we actually got a big coin from him uh, as instead of a small coin. So, he actually is worth quite a few things. Of course, uh, Shy Guys are casting Doom Reverb on us, and I believe what that will do is that will actually mute us. And uh, what the mute attack, or what the mute spell does, is it prevents us from using uh, magic attacks at all. 
With that being said, hey Lucky Two, well, you're a different Lucky Two than the one at Tadpole Pond. Where did that other one from Tadpole Pond go off to? After he was no longer needed by Frog Fuchsia's. Hmm, is he a freelance Lucky Two? And does he go to the highest bidder? Or not? I don't know what the economics of Lucky Two uh, hanging things from the whole dispatch are. That being said, we've got a few more enemies in here in, uh, well, gee, if you want to keep giving me Shy Guys, fine, Mr. Lucky Two. In fact, there is a reason, I think, I think there's a reason why I'm, I'm keep going after these guys. Uh, if not, then I'll just cut ahead until I give up. But I think there's something that they give us, at, that this Lucky Two gives us after a few shy guys i might be mistaken though so you might me see me skipping right now into the future Ooh, no new enemy i've got to show you guys the new enemy the snap dragon oh uh oh pollen nap that sounds like a terrible way to take a snooze and mario is asleep well that's just great so in the meantime i'm just going to try and attack everybody as much as possible, and so is Mario gonna be. Oh man, so Mario's gonna be mute and asleep. So he's not gonna be very. Oh, uh, that's right. You can only inflict one uh, status ailment at a time. So you can either be asleep or you can be mute. You cannot uh, combine them that way. So Mario was already asleep, but again, fortunately, you know that it only lasts during the course of the battle. And I've got way too many items right now. That's okay. But anyway. Oh, well, there's a crook too. Well, just, well, fine. Let's just battle everybody while we're here. And both of them ran away. That's adorable. I should have mentioned. I, I didn't really notice how many coins you get uh, from defeating the crooks. I think it's like 10. Which is pretty nice. Well, that being said, or just the shy guy by himself. Okay, Mr. Lucky 2, what you got? Oh, thank you, Mr. Lucky 2. You replenished all of our health. And everything else. That's kind of awesome, actually. So we have some coins here that we can get. Um, let's see how I get down to that one. I think I go this way. And anywhere else? Nope. That that looks like the end of it. That's the end of the guy. All right. So we're actually pretty close to the end of Rose Way here. Um, a couple. Obviously, we see all these. Uh. <laughs> Fine. Run away, you security pants. Obviously, if you don't actually battle anybody, the thing just kind of, you know, it's like you didn't earn anything, so... Oh, new enemy. And we and we got attacked, so I actually am going to kill this guy first before he gets a chance to run away. And then, uh, we do have our new arachnid. Wait, that, ooh, he's painful, yeah. Even with the dodging attack, or, you know, the time defense, he, uh her for 5 HP. Not good. Not good for Mario's. But that being said, ooh, once again, that's a, that's another kind of bonus that uh, sometimes appears after you defeat an enemy. So Milo actually got to go twice, and now he was able to defeat everybody. And we got a good number of coins and HP from there. But anyway, I want coins. I want coins. I want coins. Oh, I want Shy Guy. So admittedly, a lot of these battles are going to be pretty much the same thing. So I may just cut out to here because each of these shy guys has a has a box, or you know has the coin box. So I might actually go ahead and just skip out on this part unless something really cool happens or if I get a level up, obviously. So I'll go ahead and uh, cut out after this uh, battle, and I'll just go ahead and just tackle the rest of them off uh, outside of the video. Oh, Mario looks so depressed when he's mute. Oh, hey! 
So this is actually right when I wanted to come back in the queue anyway. So Mario has reached level seven. Awesome. So let's see here goes two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four HP. That's pretty good. Uh, one and one, not so great. One and one, not so great. So I think four HP it will be. So that being said, good timing, Mario, because I actually did want to get to this box too, because it's not just coins; it's another mushroom. Yay! But uh, I will stop. Go ahead and stop it as soon as we uncover. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I see Goombas. Let's go stomp on the Goombas. Wait, 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 wait! Come back, Mallow. <gasps> it's Bowser. We found Bowser. Oh man, he's got his forces. Ooh, they're convening. All right, people, form ranks. Attention, shield warriors, hooded sorcerers, and last but not least, groundling goombas. What? The, well, what the heck was that? Wow, that guo thing. Guo, guo. This is our finest moment. The Koopa Troop is invincible. We shall be victorious. The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back and move out on the double. So. Bowser got thrown all the way out here, too. Shoot, oh boy. I'm surprised he was able to find uh, creatures already. Bowser and his troops must be on their way to the keep. Come on, Rose Town is just ahead. All right. So I w what we will do is in this next episode, I we will head into Rose Town. So until then, this is Big Mac saying, later.